Well, this is the tits, Carla. What do you mean? I'm excited to be here. I hate the Sid Caesar show. This is the worst place we could have ended up. TV killed Vaudeville. I'm ashamed of the on this terrible show. I hate it. Oh. 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 oh, Cecil, it's okay. Look at Carla. She looks like Shirley Tiddle on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here is all damned opium and hashish, you damned hipster smoking your jazz cigarettes. You should be ashamed. Cecil, calm down. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. You're all dead. I'm sucking out your soul. Cecil? What? Oh. Cecil? What? Oh. Cecil? I think I just had a stroke. <laughs> Look at Carla. She looks like a lethargic Lucille ball. <laughs> it looks like a lover laughed and ejaculated all over her dress. <laughs> Calling this a variety show. Just because you guys out there play disco on your Victrolas, you think this is variety? You disco freaks are high on cocaine and jungle music. <laughs> 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 I'm going to wear your intestines as hats. <laughs> Do a close up on my face. <laughs> Cecil, you can't really tell them what to do. Yes, I can, because all of you out there in TV land, I'll be outside of your windows later tapping. <laughs> Pulling the camera and make it go close. I'll be tapping on your window saying, It's Cecil, let me in. <laughs> what am I doing? I have no idea. Why don't you undo another button so they actually listen to what you're talking about? <laughs> 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 Look at Carla. Her hair looks like a 1970s vagina. <laughs> Cecil. Well, I mean, look at your hair. Your hair is a complete mess. I mean, look at, I, there's like spiders in it. I mean, who knows? I think I'm gonna sneeze. Please don't sneeze. This is our big TV debut. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, um, please don't sneeze. Ah, 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 please, ah. Says, a chow! Oh, oh, my hair! Someone get my hair! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh. Hello, I'm Donald Trump. <laughs> I'm a young real estate noble who will be ignorant and delusional enough to run for president one day. Donald Trump. All right, Cecil, put my hair back on. It's embarrassing to be standing beside a lady that looks like an albino duckweed. Can't stand her, it's so, so awful. You know, it's so sad. You out there in TV land could be watching 500 different channels, but instead you're watching a ventriloquist. I know it's not funny, it's sad. <laughs> That's it, I'm fed up. Turn off the lights, make it completely dark. I'm done with this. <laughs> Cecil, what are you doing? I'm sucking out your souls. You're all dead. No one gets out of this TV studio alive. This was all an elaborate ruse, so I can suck out your souls and wear your intestines. <laughs> Ventriloquism sure is easy in the dark. <laughs> Lights up, please. Cecil. Oh boy, Carla, excuse you. You know what? You have offended the whole crowd. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. What? You're gonna have to get up and walk away. All right, here I go. I'm going to get up and walk away. 
Oh, oh God damn polio. <laughs> Gets me every time. Well, Cecil, what else would you like to talk about on our big TV debut? Well, it's not later than here on the Sid Caesar show, but while all you are out there drinking quaaludes and red wine, I'm frothing saltwater taffy. I want all of you in the studio and in the TV land to join in on my number one hit parade hit, Saltwater Taffy. Sound man, this song is on a Victrolis. You crank it up to groove number one, thank you, or I'll slit your throat. Thank you. <laughs> What's a salt water taffy? <laughs> I've got a salt water taffy. Who wants a salt water taffy? I've got a salt water taffy. Hey, hey, hey. Who wants a salt water taffy? I do. I've got a salt water taffy. Oh boy. Who wants a salt water taffy? Yippee. I've got a salt water taffy. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. That's how the ventriloquists live. They do an amazing act and no one applauds. Cecil. <laughs> well, Cleo and Caesar, I'd like you to come out here. I'd like to tell you something. I think it's so sad that you guys are divorced and fighting. You should just stay together and hate one another, just like Carla and I do. Now, Caesar and Cleo would come up here. I've got a little gift for them to help them patch things together. Now, Caesar and Cleo, all you have to do, Caesar, reach into my left pocket, stand in front of Carla, because she looks the best when someone's standing in front of her. <laughs> Thank you. That's your natural hair color, I see. Cleo, get into my right pocket, please. Cleo, you drunk! Reach into my right pocket! <laughs> Cecil! <laughs> you keep drinking, you'll look like me, like you've got rosacea. <laughs> okay. So reach into my pocket at the same time and pull out a sweet surprise that will bond your union back together. Come on, Caesar! <laughs> Loser. Cecil! Okay, now pull it out. What is it? What is it? What's in Cecil's pockets? What is it? Yes, a gummy worm and a broken plastic salt water taffy to bond you guys together forever. Can I go now? <laughs> I think so. Thank you. May you guys live together horribly ever after. Thank you, I'm gonna float away. See you at the door later. If you think Kip has a big thing in the jig, you should see my thing in the jig. 